Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another series review. I just recently watched Doctor Who. The episode was called The Fall of the Doctor, and this one <laughs> made me cry like a baby. <clears throat> this takes place after the episode where Bill is actually converted into a Cyberman, and she doesn't really notice it until... <clears throat> A little girl hands her a mirror and she says, no, I am myself. This is, this can't be me. Her, her body, her, her mind, well, her body has changed, but her mind is still her own and her psyche has, has not changed. And of course, the doctor says, you've rebelled against the programming of the Cybermen. And <clears throat> he tells her why she can't get angry because if she does, she'll blow a hole into something. Um, Nordon is actually very helpful in this episode and Missy, we get to see her true intentions and we realize that she wasn't so bad as we originally thought. The master is back and he doesn't want to become her so he prevents her from regenerating. <laughs> And it's actually a very hate-inducing scene. You just, you want to rip the master apart. But that's just his character. He's, he's just so deliciously sinister. You, you can't help but, but loathe the very essence of his existence. And I like it that they were still in the colony. You could see that they were on a spaceship because when the little girl looks up, there's... 507 in the sky and she doesn't really she looks at it sort of inquisitively as if to as if to say this isn't really earth actually yeah they're on a spaceship it's it's a colony and it's a very long spaceship and <clears throat> the doctor has a new screwdriver i like the new screwdriver it looks really cool the blue tip is a nice touch um when he goes through the, the woods and starts blasting all the Cybermen, I thought, oh yeah, <laughs> that was so badass. I love it. Uh, typically, we don't see him being violent, but he had to, and he realizes that his time is <clears throat> coming to a close. We don't get to see him regenerate, but he is he's going to die, and it's it's just it's so heartbreaking, especially when when Bill finds him and he's he's dead and. Then we get to see um, a young lady who appears, and I don't know who she is. She sort of looks like the doctor's daughter, but I highly doubt that it's the doctor's daughter. I, that would be interesting if it were, because she says something very telling. She says, I'm a different kind of alive, and I'm thinking, are they immortal? I, I didn't quite grasp the concept of the metaphysicality of that it was just it was beyond my ken but very very interesting they had an extra clip of bill and this mystery blonde who is absolutely gorgeous mind you and bill deserves someone as equally beautiful as herself i i love bill bill has become just a companion that i absolutely adore i'm glad to see that they're doing an arc with a lesbian character for the first time. It's very bold and good on you, BBC, for doing that. Um, I absolutely adore her. <laughs> she is just such a, a beautiful character. She's not afraid to be vulnerable. She expresses her emotion. She, um, I just, I love her. She's She's an incredible character, very multi-layered, and just so much fun. I think she's the type of character, if I met her in real life, that we could just hang out and she'd be the coolest person ever. She's so spiffy. I just, I love her. I can't help it. I just feel like she would be kind of like the sister I never had. Um, <clears throat> suffice it to say, I really liked the the exchange between Missy and the Master because it was interesting to see the two halves and that the Master had not changed a bit and he was still as angry and uh, rancorous as ever and he wanted no part of becoming a softer version of himself. Oh, no, no. <laughs> 
And I was actually, you know what? I would, I love the master. I love to hate him, and I'm glad to see him back. Although I'm gonna miss Missy because um, I think that it was nice to see Missy starting to get the grasp of who. It's interesting to see the contrast because we know she's a foil to the Doctor, a, a villainous foil to the Doctor. She's kind of an anti-hero. And to see that dynamic, the, the dichotomy between the two, it's, uh, it's intriguing. It's absolutely fascinating. And it was another good episode and one that evoked a lot of emotion. Still absolutely exceptional. And I look forward to, for, forward to further episodes down the pike because I'm, I know that they're going to be sensational. And eventually when they do reveal who 13 will be, I'm going to cry <laughs> because I love I when they introduced Peter Capaldi I remembered him from World War Z and I adored him from the very moment that he was in that just his energy his vitality his uh his acting prowess and just his he is a very I'm gonna say this and without sounding strange he's actually a very good looking man Despite his age, I think he's very attractive. He's got an elegance to him that uh, reminds me a lot of the Seventh Doctor. And then he has that whole rebellion that I just love the nonconformity of this character. And there was a bit of a nod to my favorite Doctor, which would be Tom Baker. Actually, my favorites are Tom Baker. And, of course, I like... Um, the seventh and eighth. The eighth was more refined, but we only see him in one film. A very underappreciated doctor, by the way. Um, then, of course, nine. I love Christopher Eccleston. <laughs> and ten and eleven. Ten and eleven have kind of a, a tug of war in my heart because I love them both so much. And I'm not sure which I like more. But twelve has a very special place in my heart because he's just a different take on that doctor but I, I just love that nod to Tom Baker that just that made me so happy when he asked the, the little girl if she wanted a jelly baby <laughs> I thought yeah I could definitely use a jelly baby right now I'm addicted to those stupid things I have a beautiful friend who sends me jelly baby of course I don't have his address anymore but he sends me Jamie Dodgers and jelly babies because they're kind of hard to come by over here and the lady, I remember, I'll tell you a story. He actually sent me Jamie Dodgers, <clears throat> a couple packs, and the original, the raspberry is my favorite. And he double, <laughs> he had the clerk double wrap the Jamie Dodgers. He said, you have to understand this is precious cargo. I can't, I can't have it breaking on, on his trip to the States <laughs> across the pond. And she just looked at him like he was from another planet. <laughs> just sort of shook her head. And I thought that was so funny. I thought, yeah, I, Rob, I'm glad that you did that because they came unharmed and in perfect condition. And now I can eat them. <laughs> it's going to be a good night tonight. But I just, I absolutely love them. And um, the first time I had a Jammy Dodger was at high tea at Canterbury Hotel. I had, I had connections with people in high places. And that was the closest that I've ever gotten to haute couture. But, um, yeah, it was very, 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 very affluent. The atmosphere. Oh, my goodness. I got to see how the 1% lived for just a little bit. And I just, I felt like a princess. And <laughs> it was great. It was absolutely superb and sublime. But I don't really need that kind of hoity-toity atmosphere to enjoy Dammy a, a Dammy Bodger <laughs> Jammy Dodger doggone it I got a spoonerism there a, a Dammy jo a, a Dammy Bodger but um <laughs> I really don't it's um it's a great way to just unwind and just forget your cares and become a little kid for a minute but this episode had a lot of that, and I love the the Cybermen are, like I said before, the Cybermen are one of my favorite villains besides the Dalek. And <laughs> you will be deleted 
Prepare to, <laughs> prepare to be improved. Pfft, delete, pfft, delete, delete. I, I just, I love them. They're just, they're so freaking scary. But, um, excellent episode. I absolutely loved it. And just the whole concept of that arc in space was very Stargate quality and reminded me of that and my youth and just spot on t a tip of my hat to the BBC people who did a fantastic job <laughs> and I can't wait to see more so until next time live long and prosper ciao tutti